no, this was not a fool. But it's sort of I'm 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 Ninety-three. Now it's even better. Should be five. Eight. Seven. Now, that's that's the position of origin. That's the position of origin. Now it's it's after point three. It's it's one. It's one. I think it's right has an extra pawn and uh, yes. Then then the rook goes on b seven. Uh, that's uh, but. Due to discovery, it's a rough discovery. I, Gellar's idea was rehabilitated. And now, knight, uh, knight f4. Knight f4. So, Karpo played here, rook a7. And uh, for a moment, he probably saw that he solved his problem. After knight h4, he had queen e8. And with queen e8, now he probably expected that the queens would be traded, and then it's an extra exchange, and why the initiative is, you know, sort of stopped. It's didn't very good. Yeah, no, but it's just a, So, and he missed the other's brilliant blow, his queen takes d6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we chose this game, yeah? yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's quite an amazing, that's quite an amazing move, so, and, uh, so f takes a 6 the knight check, and if king f7, the knight takes the rook, king f8, knight g6 check again, and white has, uh, white has a decisive mutual advantage. Karpov took here immediately, but then, you know, after knight, and uh, knight takes h8, white pawns, and decisive advantage. So they, they played for, for a game last week, but you know, the other one, so, uh, quite easily. So, queen e6 is, is, is a brilliant move. And, uh, it's one of the problems that, uh, in the 70s, that was probably the worst defeat. I thought Carlos was the worst defeat. Uh, but when I analyzed this, I saw that uh, I had a move here, bishop e8. And I was very proud that I found the defense and I could improve the other's game. And I, I gave certain lines because after knight h4 here, that looks very good. It was the same idea in IGC. I found the hidden defense with h6. And if bishop takes h6, then suddenly bishop takes h4 and white bishop is cut. So, and I have these lines here. So, that's the, uh, for instance, bishop h6, bishop h4. Yes. G3, bishop goes back on e7, white could take on g7, take on h5, has four pawns, but pawn on a2 is weak, and the game is complicated. And uh, also, I looked, for, I looked for, for other options for white. Uh, one is natural, if you take on d8, d8, and knight g5. So again, threatening. Take on e6, and so black has, has the only move rook h6, and uh, here I conclude that why should take on e6? Take knight takes e6, rook e6, queen e6, then knight goes on e7. For instance, we can now uh, we can have this. So take on e6, knight goes on e7, and if f4, then queen c8. And white, white has no time to actually activate the rook and to break through on the left side. <coughs> so who do you think white is okay then? Oh, I think it's so black, is, black is okay. And uh, recently I received a laughing letter from Mr. Sarochtin, who said that he's... Is look at the carpenter in St. Peter. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the carpenter in St. Peter. Okay. Now, he offers something in this position that... 